What's up guys, welcome to the codecam.org In this brand new video I'm going to show you how to upgrade RAM and SSD on Dell XPS 9510 OLED So this is one of the best laptops I ever seen Has really nice OLED display and it's touch screen So this is something I would recommend to anyone going for a Windows laptop You cannot get anything better than this So this is a brand new laptop and this is my personal laptop i just want to show you how to upgrade ram and ssd Be because this is something that you will not see most often people doing repair on uh, first thing first make sure your laptop is unplugged from power source or ac adapter then make sure your laptop is turn turn off As you can see, this laptop looks really premium quality. And even uh, I do have a personal MacBook Pro 16 2023 M2 Max, but I prefer more this one because this one has a lot more better screen and better performance. So I need to turn off the laptop because before, whenever you wanna do repair, you, you make sure you have unplug the laptop and turn off completely shut down so I'm waiting for the laptop to shut down and now I'm closing the lid and now we need to remove the bottom case the bottom case came with the 8 T5 screws Torix and I'm using my precision screw driver toolkit uh, you can you guys can buy it from the Amazon or similar stores so this doesn't cost a lot of money and I never need anything else apart this for any type of repair on gaming PCs and laptops and Mac, even MacBook Pros. So first thing first we need to remove the bottom case screws and remove the bottom case. So as you can see this is brand new laptop not a, even a single scratch on it. So so for, uh, I have already upgraded the SSD and RAM because I'm using this for myself and I'm just making this video for you guys to show you how to upgrade it uh, on your laptops so now we will start removing the bottom case screws remember these screws are t5 and these are coming off most of the Dell laptops their bottom case screws not coming off but these xps models these are coming off and try to not lose it because this is not some type of common screws you, you will need to order it from uh, Amazon and I, I bet you don't have it at home because it's not pentalope it's not uh, the regular uh, screws used in laptops and this should be much in color if your laptop is silver it should be silver if it's black it should be black and be gentle with the screw now and now it's turn for the last screw and we have removed the screws so this uh, bottom case removal does require some strength and be careful with your fingers because this bottom case is too sharp I prefer to do it open open the lid like this and try to go from edges Try to turn off the laptop and try to start from the edge. It, this is too tight because you, it's required as a strength. That's why I told you it's required as a strength. And be gentle because there's a lot of uh, wires and on the edges. And be careful with your fingers too because this will you cut cut your finger really easy. Never use any metal object. Always use plastic like if you have black sticks that's really good for removing the bottom case and uh, we usually call the black stick as a magic stick because we do a lot of stuff uh, with the black stick try to remove it gentle yes and we almost there as you can see there's a lot of wires on the edges for antenna and 
Do not use force. Always remember, do not use force. Just be gentle. Should be fine. As you can see, we have successfully removed the bottom case. Uh, the first thing after removing the bottom case, you need to remove the battery, which is right here. As you can see, I have successfully removed the battery, so there is no power on the board. Uh, remember, you always need to use the ESD strap. If you don't have any ESD like me right now, just uh, touch a metal object. If you are gaming PC or a PC cover is uh, the cases metal you just the, the metal part of the case or if your desk is metal just touch any metal object it doesn't matter so that, that way you discharge yourself so if you do not discharge yourself it's more chances to damage the board uh, i'm really sorry i have already upgraded my ssd i just put one so i still got uh, another slot empty so how you put another ssd i have another one which is uh, wd SN850 Gen4 SSD you grab the SSD plug it in and put the screw back on uh, I'm not going to use the SSD because I don't need it I already have a 2 terabyte which is more than enough for portable laptop and I already upgrade the RAM too because I use this uh, Corsair uh, 32 gigabyte of DDR4 32 megahertz 3200 megahertz so imagine you this laptop comes with the uh, one one modules only this we call the ram module so you grab your memory from the box watch for the notch this is called, uh, this is the notch this is called notch align it with the the ram uh, module uh, slot and gently press it down you need to click the you need to hear the click as long as you hear the click you should be fine so that's how we do uh, upgrade the ACZ and RAM on Dell XPS 9510 uh, the process will be same for 9520 and 9500 and now we need to plug back the battery and put put on the bottom case you go from the back and same thing, I need to be really gentle with the, with the bottom case because I may damage uh, the case. So I'm not going to put back the screws in. I'm just, I just want to check if the laptop is still turning on or no. You need to always make sure to turn on the laptop before you close the bottom case screws. Voila, we got it on, and that's how you do uh, upgrade the SSD and RAM on Dell XPS 9510. The process will be saved again for 9500, 9520. So I hope you enjoy this video, and if you have any other question or you, if you need any repair any, on any other model, just mention and comment. I will be making another video for you guys on different models that you guys need to work on. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.